you're watching this video, you've got one of these noisy guys. And you're wondering to yourself, how do I print directly to Illustrator, which is the name of this video. Ooh, stick around to see how that's done. First off, let's talk about people saying that this is impossible and even the US cutter forms going, ah, you can't do that, it's not possible, you have to go in the shirt cuts a lot or whatever the software is, which I personally don't like using. It's a messy software and the interface feels like something from what I was learning in 97, 98 in CAD CAM software in middle school and I'm like, ooh, I don't like this. How do I get this to work in Illustrator? Well, this is very easy and chaos will not ensue, the sky will not fall apart, and dogs and cats are not going to mate and make dog cats or cat dogs or cogs or dats or something like that. This is extremely easy and straightforward to do. Anybody can do this, but this requires a crap load of restarts. Anytime you make a change, you're going to have to restart. So if you follow along, do it right the first time, it's going to be perfect throughout. If you have one of these SC model cutters like I do, which I believe this will work on the other models as well, aside from the MH, which uses printer style drivers, which is a key to this whole big picture because the internals of both are pretty much identical. But there's a few key component differences, but that's all down to the driver, which if you notice, as I said, MH uses printer, the SC and all the other guys use these CDM or serial based drivers, which actually is doing the same thing. It's just converting a USB signal to your serial signal. And if you have any of these or any kind of plotter and doesn't have a serial port on it, I recommend get a key span. It reduces errors in your cutting where it just goes, <laughs> too big file. I'm going to go crazy on you. And you know what I'm talking about, people that use this. You know what the hell I'm talking about. So, alrighty, let's go on to the process. It's very straightforward. If you are using Windows 8, or 10 as this tutorial covers this, you must disable driver signing first or none of this will work. Let's get down to the business of how straightforward this really is. First thing you're gonna do is make sure to download the MH Mark II drivers, the CDM 2.12.06 WHQL drivers. Now I will provide the link down below for that guy. And if you're using a key span, you could skip installing the CDM drivers and install your Keyspan device. I'm using a Triplight 19H device. It's fine, it works great. The model numbers are very, you will get the driver for your model, not mine. To keep it simple, install the CDM drivers. You wanna right click and run as admin. For some reason, these are not set to auto elevate for some reason, I don't know. You're just gonna let it do its thing, extract, install. It's very straightforward. Once that's finished, you're going to go to your device's control panel from the start menu and click add printer. And you're going to click printer not found, click next, choose a local port. Now you're going to make sure your COM port matches with your driver by going to your device manager, go down to ports and your COM port is listed. I set mine to a specific number, usually five or six, because that reduces headache when I'm setting up later. So whatever which one you choose, note that, choose that COM port in the printer, click next, and my list already has used cutter because I've done this already, but for you, click have disk, browse to the location wherever you have your drivers downloaded. In my case, it's on the network. Once that's done, now you're gonna choose US cutter in this list, click next, click next again. You don't wanna set a default if you have another printer. Make a name that you'll remember. I usually like to set mine to SC or COM port 6 or whatever. In this case, just for the sake of argument, I choose default name and that's it. That That's all there really is to it. The next thing is, of course, fire up Illustrator. Make sure it works in there. I'm not joking. This is really all there is to it to be able to print directly from Illustrator, which I believe US Cutter and a few other people say is impossible. Nothing is impossible as Wendell has told me in the past, anything is really doable on a PC, it depends on how much work you really want to do to figure these things out and I've cut out everything for you guys and gals to figure this out. Now some notes in Illustrator when you're working with any of these things is, as some of you may not be aware if you're new to the vinyl cutter or not aware of how Illustrator handles it because, well, this is the way I was doing it at Wendell's. 
with a Cam 1, which I loved. The SC is a fine value, but it's kind of crud for resolution. In Illustrator, you want to make sure you only have your line work visible. In Illustrator, I have a workflow where I copy anything I'm going to cut for a client into a format that is equal to the size of the paper's width and whatever length I need. I try to stick to between 15 and 30 inches just so the buffer doesn't go crazy on the cutter. It's a very small amount of megabytes. I don't know why in the year 2015 we have to deal with that, but besides that, I always make sure that I only have line work, no solids. I always set everything to 0.085 point, that's about 0.03 millimeters, which is what the machine needs. As you can see, I'm just goofing off here making some stuff. With the PC Master Race logo, which is a good point, as you can see I reverse the colors and I set my line width. And as you can see, I'm making multiple duplicates here. For whatever reason, I don't know. You know, the world works in mysterious ways and I kind of go with the magnetic flow, kind of like Tesla did out here. He really dug the odd magnetic fields. That's another odd point to talk about while I'm talking about a vinyl cutter and PC Master Race. It kind of all coincides together, especially where I live. Now on to your print settings. I usually try to make a preset in here that works. Like I've got one I call defaults. It sets my paper width to the 30 inch because that's what I usually work with. I rarely work with 24 inch. Price difference is negligible. I try to set my size space to where it's located on the paper to one to one. And that's the easiest thing to do. If I notice if I set it to negative, it goes crazy sometimes. But recently that has been an issue with me doing it this way. So, that's pretty much it. As you guys and gals can see, the proof is in the pudding. Would you look at those lovely logos? It's not very difficult and I don't understand why this isn't out there and I brought it upon myself to make this little quick how-to. As all of you can see, I have an SC cutter. It is a fantastic affordable cutter. The main problem is it sucks with resolution. I was very happy when I was using Wendell's Cam 1 way back when. It, it's a fantastic unit and I'm still looking for one under 800 bucks, 700 bucks, which is absurd for something 15 years ago. But that thing was dead on precise. It made everything beautiful. But I digress. I should have a shop and sell these things because, well, I make funny stuff all the time and I kind of run a local sign shop out here. Now, if I do make a website and all that stuff for this and everything, it's probably in one place, my main Max Hacks website, which I hope to get up and running by before the end of the year. It's not my forte, but I've got a few people helping me, so best of luck, right? I'm Max of Max Hacks. If you've liked a video such as this how-to on an esoteric piece of device that not a lot of people have, or if they do because they run a sign shop and got one of these things because they say, hey, we need a backup workhorse, well, click that like button. I'll make more. I got, I do this stuff all day. Don't forget to subscribe. That gives me more motivation and more thinking about what how-tos to produce, or what build videos to make, or what odd odds and ends I can produce because well, as you guys saw the spy hander dance video I had pretty fun with that one and that was awesome denizens of the internet you take care Max signing off